on the Disc Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the D23 Expo. We've got loads of information on some of the new um, events taking place, some of the um, panels, etc., and some new pavilions that are going to be there. So, uh, first off, there's a Star Wars one called Galaxy of Stories, which is going to have... Um, all about the world and parks, so that's going to be there. There's going to also going to be some information on the new um, uh, resorts. We're going to see some information about Pirates of the Caribbean, what's going to be coming up, the voices of the park. There's also going to be a special like Star Wars pavilion. There's going to be a Marvel pavilion. Um, it's just loads. So what um, what were you excited for? And what they announced this week? Uh, well, I was definitely excited for the Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios one. The Power of the Princess one and the voices of the Disney Park, but unfortunately, because they put the Power of the Princess in the upcoming films one at the same time, I gotta pick and choose with that one. So, but Star Wars, Marvel, I'm, I'm honestly excited for it all. Yeah, I mean, there really is a lot um, coming to this event. I think as well, I think it makes sense to try and kind of um, spread it out, try and get it to sort of, um, in some ways make it a bit separate because I think that's a good idea of having these pavilions. Um, I know they've announced, you know, we're going to have this Marvel stuff there. There's going to be like a special gaming area, but just as a whole, um, the way they sort of separate it out, like the animation and the Pixar team, they're going to be there. So there's going to be a presentation about upcoming films with John Lasseter. I think that one's going to be very interesting because they will probably go a lot more further down the line than maybe with anything else. Oh, yeah. Um, look at the list now. They're going to include Cars 3, Coco, um, Olaf's Frozen Adventure, and the uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2 sequel. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm I mean Wreck-It Ralph 2. Yeah, I, mean, I think, <laughs> I think a Wreck-It Ralph's trailer is probably not too far off. As you said, you've got the creating the world of Pixar, um, the evolution of Pixar's characters, the Bambi 75th anniversary. So there is lots of bits and pieces there. Um like well, like we said, they just, they're just doing a lot. Um, just looking, I mean, it's just one of those things of, like you said, there's going to be a lot there. But from like your point of view, what are you kind of most excited about? Ah, uh, well, anything you know regarding the park. I did just see the inspiring women of Imagineering panel, and mm. I'm definitely in- interested in that. And voices of Disney parks. Um, there was one I can't think of right now, but, oh, and the Disney Legends ceremony, yes, yeah, so I'm very yeah. excited about that. I mean, personally as well, um, just as we're recording this, this morning they put out a Kingdom of Hearts free trailer, which said that there's going to be oh, a yeah. special trailer revealed, in a, a panel kind of revealing some of the stuff as well, so that was something that, like, this morning I went, woohoo, that's for me, I, that's straight on, something that I will be enjoying, but I think... Th- I think the parks area is something I'm really excited. I'm hoping to hear a lot about what might be happening over in uh, Disneyland Paris. Now they've kind of gone in for the full buyout, you know, hopefully then we can start sort of seeing what's going to go over there. Um, And also, it would not surprise me if um, Epcot Major Expansion got announced. I have been hearing rumors that the um, Epcot, you know, expansion and recall, I guess, Expansion refurbishment was going to come out, but I haven't have it that necessarily confirmed yet. But I don't see why it wouldn't happen. Um, as far as Disneyland Paris, I agree because I really haven't heard too much about that, and I've been keeping up with that. Mm. So I definitely want to see some more plans for Disneyland mm. Paris. Kingdom Hearts, I watched that as soon as I woke up, <laughs> and I was just like, I'm going to be 35 by the time this game finally yeah. comes out. I mean, I was, I was, I was like, again, I woke up. It was like 7 a.m. I'm literally like w- watching it one eye with, um, like, literally going, sh- as like, that kind of decision of, shall I use my data up to watch the trailer? It's like, yes. But I'm like, and it's like, <laughs> it was just that thing of it's like, yeah, this is looking good. I still, I still sit here now and it's like this D23 expo. A, being very jealous that you're going, but also, I can't help but feel like this really should become an annual event and they should flip it. You know, they should move. I mean, I'm really disappointed that Star Wars Celebration is not back every year and they don't and they flick between like london los angeles orlando etc you know it just feels like the d23 expo could work in different locations you know for for florida for paris you know i mean japan have their own version 
it would just be great to have something like this for Europeans, but that's just me being very, you know, you know, the fact of going. No, yeah, I feel yeah. like they would definitely get more of a, you know, more of a demographic if they, you know, change the location every now and again. So that would be a good idea. Why they haven't done it, I'm not I'm, entirely sure. But... I think the thing is as well, I think we're having it in Los Angeles with at Alaheim. Not only have they got all the park people there, and it's easy to go, but all the celebrities and everyone are pretty, you know, so many of them are based around the Los Angeles area. It's a lot easier for getting people in for cameos and just popping in for unsurprised threat than, you know, flying them into Paris. I mean, we saw recently with like the Pirates of the Caribbean where they had Johnny Depp you know, and all that lot go from park to park to park um, doing press events, you know, and in, I think it's something that we could do. And now that, you know, Disney technically own the Paris park, it could easily happen. But the fact they've never done it in Walt Disney World, but there again, maybe, you know, they do their own little events and stuff. I don't know. It's just, for me, D23 just looks so epic this year. There's so much coming out. And it seems to be building a year or every, every two years that they're doing this. Yeah, I, like, with this being my first time going, I'm really, really excited just because they, they have everything, the video games, the, the parts, just you know, history, I, like, I'm really excited for the Walt Disney Archive stage. Like, that's going to be fun as well. I'm hoping they show some Star Wars Battlefront. I did see some gameplay of that um, yes. come out yesterday. Yeah, yeah I mean... So I'm hoping I see some of that. Yeah, they'll. I mean, they'll be there. I mean, it's definitely... I think last year we had the... Oh, the last event there was the big, like... There was a big gaming announcement. This year, I don't know if they're quite falling down that same one. They haven't announced anything yet. But again, it's like from your point of view, if when you're there, you can only go to, you know, they have so many of these different panels on at the same time. You've got to cherry pick, uh, you know, it's, and you've got to pick the ones you want. And you've also got to work out lines and, you know, how long you've got to wait. Do you want to spend lines meeting stuff? You know, there's that thing of, do you go do stuff that you could see at any time? Or do you go see stuff that you know you can only do that time, you know, with the celebrities or something like that there, you know. Some of these shows, you do look at it and go, well, what? it's like Bambi's 75th anniversary for me personally. I'd be there going, that would be an interesting thing, but what's on up, up against it, you know, it, you've got to be very, very picky of what you want to do. Oh, absolutely. I actually sat down last night with my friends that I'm going with. I'm like, okay, there are certain panels I got to go to. We need to figure it out. So I sat down and made a chart, yeah. times and dates of everything. It's very intriguing. <laughs> and also, the thing, you, you, it's hard until you get there. Until you, I mean, I having gone to Star Wars Celebration last year, um, that idea of like, well, you know, I even I felt when I left, it's like, you know, I spent so long queuing to get into one of them that you end up losing time, and it's it's just there is it is going to be a big event. I'm really hoping we get to see lots of streaming, lots of because technology's moved on each time that these events take place. Rather than me sat there watching Periscope videos from other people, I'm hoping I'll be able to watch like proper presentations online for YouTube because the technology's moved on so much more. And I think everyone, I think the world, all these companies realize now that these events they're global events now. You know, something like. E free San Diego exactly. and they're streaming constantly. Um, so I am hoping we'll get to see. I'll get to see quite a bit of it as well that week. I know I'm going to. I know it's going to be a very busy week for me, <laughs> just being home here. Yeah, because I'm. I'm hoping what they'll do is they'll do something with like you know Disney Park Walk, how they sometimes do dis like you know live streams or like mm. D23 will do some as well. I know a few like the um like the live action panel and the. Let, uh, Disney Legends panel, I won't be able to like photograph or anything no. like that. I already saw that. No. But, but then, a, like a few of the small ones, I can. Yeah. But then I also sometimes feel like when they do those kind of shows and they say we don't want any photographs and please don't, you know, with this trailer is just this like why are you showing it to us then? Like, I know there's that thing of, you know, people go, well, we've flown all the way out there, we paid all this money. It's like, but you're living in a world now where things will be shared. If you don't want it shared, you should not share it with people. And it's, it come, you know, the whole thing of like, please do not film this and do not share it online. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> right. You're sharing it to like a large, like thousands of people in one room. Someone's going to record it and someone's going to put yeah. it out there. And even then, they're going to release it themselves anyway. Yeah. So they might as well just, in some ways, kind of just get on top of it. But it looks good. I mean, I think we're going to, uh, in the in the next month, I'm sure we're going to start here. We're going to be hearing plenty more about the D23 Expo. Anything else you want to add from some of the news from this week? Um, that was really everything I saw besides Star Wars Land and 
the mm-hmm. addition of that. I, they they just recently added that, so they're yeah. probably doing very very. Yeah, well. I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of attention over because by the time the next event comes out, all the Star Wars stuff will be open. Um, Avatar will now would then be history, so they can only really go on about Toy Story Land and um, Star Wars Land so much. But who knows? We'll have to know your thoughts on this as well. Get in touch with us through the comments below. You can also get in touch with us on social media and stuff. You can also check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Hit that subscribe button if you're on the YouTube channel. You can also subscribe on the audio versions as well. So, Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PT and Instagram he calls me pineapple Pizza. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching and listening, and we shall see you guys soon. Later. Bye.